Hey everybody, it's John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. I got a big shout out to my man Patris out there, my, my brother over there in Pakistan, and all his kids who are hopefully going to be listening to this. This one is specifically for you. All, I mean, they all are, but specifically this one. Um, and I'm going to tell you why, because I'm going to talk about a, a great man, a great man of God. His name was Thomas. Thomas, that's right. You know, Christianity came to Pakistan immediately from Thomas. This means that the one who walked directly with Jesus, one of his 12 apostles in the Bible, brought Christianity to you in your country directly from Jesus, right to your home. Did you know that? You know, now that, you know, Jesus died and he rose again and the apostles went out and preached the gospel. And you know where Thomas came? Pakistan. Yeah, he came to Pakistan and then India. But he came to you, Pakistan. Right? Christianity was here right after Jesus rose from the dead. And it was brought to you directly by the man who walked directly with Jesus, one of his 12 apostles, Thomas. Why is this important? It's important because it means that Jesus sent the gospel, the good news, the freedom, the love, the liberty, the fact that he died and paid for your sins and mine directly to you because Thomas was sent by Jesus. And that, uh, you know, and he heard Jesus. And Jesus said, go, 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 go. And he went down there. And he came to you there in Pakistan. This is important because it means the gospel has been around here much longer. And that it is an important part of Pakistani history. You may not know that. You may not understand that until now because of the the culture that you live in because of the way that things are nowadays but Jesus brought the message here a long time ago long long ago quite longer than the current situation than the current government than the current slavery Jesus was here longer Jesus brought the gospel to you to your ancestors to your parents and their parents the gospel was there and it's been there and the culture of the people in your area has a rich history founded on Christianity, my friends. Remember that. Remember that, okay? It means that you can see Thomas as an example. That the life of Thomas motivates you and encourages you to bring the gospel of Jesus to Pakistan like Thomas did and win souls to Christ there in Pakistan. God is with you. God will do it with you, for you, using you to win the souls of Pakistan to Jesus Christ. Just like Thomas. So my friends, God bless. Have a great day and be encouraged. Because Pakistan had Jesus directly from Jesus, from one of his disciples, one of his 12 apostles, Thomas. God bless, guys. Have a great day. You're awesome.